let's go see her. I can't wait. Crazy to think that George Washington would have walked right past these same trees that we are right now. Look at that up close. Wow. George Washington entered those doors. So this first room is the newest part, newest wing of the house, and this would have been the servants' quarters for the guests. They had a lot of guests stay here constantly, and the guests would have had their own servants. So this is where they worked on things. Now that photo on the left is the house that George would have inherited from his father, that his father built. The one on the right is what he would do after he raised the roof and added a second story. And then the photo on the left is that same house, but to the right is what he would eventually turn it into after all the additions over time. And then we started walking through the portico. There was no filming allowed, so this will all be just photos and a view of the Potomac. George's house was right on the Potomac. Beautiful place. This would have all been part of the new addition or the last addition to the house that he made. And that's what this room is. This was the last room that he added. This was an entertainment room. So if they were having a ball or an entertainment or a performance or anything, that would be the room they used it for. And there'd be two men whose specific job it would be to set that room up that day. He took pride in the ceilings that he created, having a farm motif because he was a farmer. Even the fireplace here has farm motif. You can see different things. Once you get closer to the uh, work right in there, it's actually a farm scene. He took great pride in that kind of thing and being from there. The paintings in here were all things that he had commissioned. And so when you see them, it's kind of cool to know that he actually commissioned all these in their original to the house. And I really like the way that this room is decorated. Now, what was kind of cool is that while we were here, they're replacing these modern windows they have in now and returning them to original windows. And if you see that green glass, that was original to the house. Now we're getting the door open to take us out to take our first view of the Potomac, the way George would have seen it when he walked out the front door that actually faced the Potomac. And they call this the greatest view in the world or at least in the US. He spent a lot of time out here, hosted a lot of people here. Very calming and relaxing. Now this takes us back into the house in the original part of the house, the first part that George's dad would have built. So you can see that wooden front door, that's the original front door. They've replaced the wallpaper since then to keep the house looking nice. But uh, yeah, that would be the original front door and the original entryway. And then of course a picture of George. And then this would have been the entertainment room as soon as you walked in for guests. Having tea, conversation, paintings of him on the walls. Look at that rug, I thought that was great. I really liked everything about this house. And it definitely has a flair of George Washington to it. It's very simple, but kind of what you would think of him. There's the music room where he could play his harpsichord. And that was a key gifted to him because he was considered the king of liberty or the man that brought liberty. So that was a jail key that was given and gifted to him that hung there for, well, since he got it for over 200 years. Now we're looking into one of the ground floor bedrooms, the blue room. And then the dining room. Yeah, that's green. Very, very green. But that was the family dining room. He didn't have a lot of people living here, but he had a lot of guests. He would host a lot of guests, but usually only four to five people living here in the family. 
Now we're heading upstairs. I did like the wallpaper, but like I said, they had they had redone the wallpaper. And that's looking down from the second floor. And he had put, I believe it was five bedrooms up here. We'll go over and look at those in a little bit. There's the first one. Kind of a nice room. And then moving next door to the next guest bedroom, they found writings where the marquee um, that stayed here wrote about staying in this room because this was the only room that had two windows. So they put a portrait of him in there. Marquis de Lafayette wrote about his time staying here and how much he loved it, how peaceful and calm it was. And then that was the staircase to the third floor. But now we're going over to the rooms that I showed you at the, when we got to the second floor staircase. That was the last edition little short bedroom they made. And that one's a little bit more elaborate. That one's nicer. You see the hardwood floors, all the canopy beds. And like I said, there was only one room, one bedroom in the house that had two windows. Now this they considered the guest of honor room because of that peach fabric and everything that was built onto the canopy bed itself. And they just, this was the one that they saved for their most important guests. Nice and big. They said that all the beds, even though they may look small to us, they were all six feet long. Every one of them in the house. Now we're going to what was my favorite part of the entire house tour. This was the Washington's bedroom. George called this Martha's office or Martha's room. That was the view. And George, this was part of the wing that George built on. So he actually made those stairs and he's 6'2", but made the, the entryway only 5'8". That is actually his deathbed. He did die on that bed. But Martha used to run the entire house out of this room. She used to tutor um, their grandkids. She used to tutor slaves. She used to run the house business. And George used to call this her office. They used to also keep the linen in there. And, um, and of course, that is the bed that George Washington died on. So weird to see that. Not weird, but I mean just humbling. Now, this is the staircase to the third floor, which they don't let us go to. That's where Martha, after George passed away, Martha lived on the third floor for the remaining two years of her life. And now we're going downstairs to the other part of the house that we haven't seen yet which is George's office. This place was great. There's his library, all the books that he had collected over time. I thought that was really neat just to see that collection. And then I really love that they had some of the original desks. That, that desk they say that he wrote his will on. And that one, that chair, wait till I tell you about that chair. <laughs> That's where he used to write his letters. That was his closet where he used to keep most of his clothes. Again, that I just couldn't get over seeing the last will and testament desk. There's a bust of himself in there as well. Now, if you look at this chair right in the center of the room, look at the floor. Those are little pedals that you pedal that. And then there was a fan over top of your head that would actually fan you. And it was adjustable so it would even fit someone his height. I thought that was really cool and the fireplace to his office. Pretty cool to see his office, I thought. And then as we came around, I got to see a different angle of the dining room, that green dining room. And a little, uh, little pantry way in there with the doorway that took us out to the other side of the portico. There were porticos on both sides of the house. And this actually took you down to the kitchen. But what a view on your way to the kitchen, huh? More of the Potomac. So he had two cooks that would cook for the family members and they would work in here and they would cook in here. 
and even had a pulley system uh, that they could use that would rotate all, all the food for them so they didn't have to have someone sitting there rotating it by hand. Look at that floor. Pretty cool tour. There was the uh, there was the stove oven. Yeah, I thought this was a really incredible experience to get to see the way George Washington lived at his home. And then that was just the uh, scullery area where they cleaned up, did all the dishes, and a little staircase that took you to the second floor. Wow, that was pretty freaking cool. To think it started out as just a small little five room building kind of right there. And they just added all that to it. Raised the roof and did all that, made it huge. Very cool place. Well, my friends, we are gonna call it a day. I'm sorry I couldn't film inside, but those are their rules. I hope that you enjoyed the uh, camera presentation of just photos. But uh, from Mount Vernon, hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye.